All right, guys, welcome back to Kenya Fan TV. We have Wango and Steve again. Big game today between Cameroon and Kenya. No Premier League, no disappointment, Man United. But Wanga, let me give this to you first. That wasn't a good day for you boys, man. Your Haramba stars didn't, didn't fall off a good one today. Yeah, I think, uh, thank you, Abdi. It was uh, quite, you know, a disappointing match as a Harambe Stars fan. Uh, it's not like I expected much uh, heading into this match against, you know, Cameroon, who are, you know, quite a well-established uh, team. When you look, they have the likes of, you know, Andre Onana, uh, Abubakar, Mwemo, who, you know, are doing good in the Premier League. Uh, but when you look into this particular match, I think... Uh, um, uh, uh, Harambe stars have been poor overally. It was quite a disappointing match. Uh, the goalkeeper, uh, Patrick Matasi, conceding two cheap goals, uh, especially that uh, you know second goal and the other fourth goal by uh, Abu Bakar. Moving forward, I think uh, we should rotate our squads. Uh, Patrick Matasi, everybody has been complaining about his mistakes year in, year out. We can't be having the same goalkeeper, you know, coaching... Uh, uh, being the goalkeeper for the same team for a matter of eight years, it's like there are no other players in in Kenya. So I think when you look into this particular match, uh, many fans expected a draw because uh, we needed a draw to progress uh, to stand at a better position as far as qualifying for yeah. Afcon 2025 is concerned. But uh, it was quite a spirited display from the boys. What a goal by Olunga! You know, coming back uh, to the team, but. Uh, you know, when we look into this particular match, we also have to, you know, criticize Engineer Firat, the Harambe Stars coach, because when you look at the team selection, honestly, it was just something else. Clearly, the team, you know, were dominated in the whole 90 minutes. I can't, you know, get uh, to have a look and see the chance that, you know, we created a clear-cut chance apart from that uh, Michael Olunga free kick. And uh, we also we also have to give credit to you know Cameroon side you know who the fans have turned out in large number to support their team. We see uh, in the in the previous match that is in the second leg that is uh, the second leg which will be played in Uganda. The match will be playing behind closed doors. So I hope uh, that will be a motivation for the Kenyan uh, Harambe Stars national team. Okay, let me get let me get you in here, Steve. Yeah. How was it for you, man? I mean, I know you're the only you tell me, man, you have a fellow Cameroonian guy. <laughs> both put the game together. Yeah. Now, that must have been a bit stressful. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know it's gonna be a different conversation when we start talking it face to face because it's be like you guys don't know anything mm -hmm. about football because I had the same argument before the game with the Zambian guys telling me, yo, you you you, you play the qualifiers for Afghan. I'm like, what are you saying? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it's like it's like in the in the African in the African context. Kenya is nowhere yeah. near football, so you can yeah. you, so you can imagine how how the, the the vision we have as a, as a country for football. So anyway, that done because I think uh, as a, from the game it was a very poor performance. I I agree completely with uh, Wanga that it's a poor performance from Matasi. We we saw it when we had we were lucky to to be in the in the in the Afcon in, sorry in the Afcon in in Egypt. It was mm. pathetic from him, pathetic from the team. We always have like one star, one person shining, and maybe the whole team is not shining. So there is a, just a matter of consistency that is not in the Kenyan team. It's not like football is not our thing. We're always there to, to participate or maybe just to make the teams to be full in every group. I just don't know. It's just a complicated matter when it comes to Kenya, when you talk about football, and like when you talk about rugby and other things like athletics. So it's mm. just a poor performance overly because... When you look at the goal we scored, Lunga scored a very fantastic header from a, from a very good cross. Which I, I say that if we can if we can score such a goal with a with a with such a team like Cameroon, a team that is always is always favourites in the in the in the World Cup, favourites in the mm -hmm. Afcon, then we can do better because they're way above us in the in the FIFA ranking. So if we can score a good goal like that, why should we afford why should we afford such uh, such mistakes that Matasi just made. Because yeah. you, you, you ask yourself, for a, an experienced goalkeeper, leave alone the, the experience playing with the team. Playing with the team is almost eight to nine years. Before even playing with the team, he had, he had more experience. Mm. The, such a free kick. You don't... It's like... I, I feel like he was behaving like a girl when you <laughs> wanted, you wanted to take something away. I don't mm. want it. I, I don't want the ball. Because mm. he, he literally just pushed it to, to the net. It was just... Yeah. I didn't feel it because... We expect much from him because if the person who's giving him the chance to play in that number 
is giving you that chance. Please use it and use it to save the balls. Don't put such a play, such a performance. But honestly, if I would say, I think the Kenyan team is just a paper given to the coach and told, these are your players for the team. Because that guy doesn't, I don't think he does, he, he does um, I don't think he does uh, scouting for his team. Yeah. He's given a team to work with. He should be led to work with a team that he wants. There's a Premier League, Kenya Premier League, that is always every weekend. Let him let, let him go to all those stadiums. Let him see the players playing. Let him select a team for himself. Mm-hmm. Because if you if you see different coaches, the same players, same same players make the same same mistake. Then there's a problem somewhere because <laughs> you never see rotation. It's like when you same, you same find spot, same spot you find the time. this is what you're going to use. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I mean, we know Wang, Wang, we know Wang is already pissed off with the goalkeeper, so yeah, he needs, yeah. He needs someone else behind there. Maybe maybe uh, Onana can take a break and come there. But, uh, in yeah. terms of, I mean, in terms of um, what's next for Kenya, the the games to look ahead and the chances they have, the opportunities that we're coming up. I mean, it's going to be tough. I mean, what, what what's your feeling? You think Kenya can pull this off? Uh, I think Abdi, uh, one positive thing, maybe the only positive thing we'll take, we'll take from, you know, this game of today is, you know, Michael Olunga scoring. At least Onana hasn't kept a clean sheet to the dismay, yeah. to the happiness <laughs> of <laughs> many Arsenal and uh, Chelsea's Kenyan fans. But, uh, you know, one po- uh, moving forward, we have the second leg, that is, which will be played in Uganda behind closed doors. So I think uh, we need to go back to the drawing board. Coach Injin Firat need to go back and, you know, see where he got it wrong today because clearly that team that was sent there to perform clearly didn't do anything. When you look at the chances that were created in this whole game from Kenya yeah. side, it was just one and that was a free kick. So I think he still has, you know, a few days to go back to the training ground and, you know, get select the player that he needs for that particular match. And Kenya just needs a draw. And they are at a good position as far as qualify for AFCON 2025 is concerned. So I think we are we 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 and we, we won't be giving up on our boys easily because considering the kind of team Cameroon is and you know Cameroon has been playing in a World Cup. Kenya has ne- never even qualified for World Cup. So it's we, we have to take a positive from this match as yeah, much as it was it was a four one beating. Yeah. And uh moving forward if we can go if if, if Cameroon can come to Uganda that is uh, where we'll be playing our home match because apparently in Kenya we don't have a FIFA approved stadium to host international matches apparently, yet we'll be hosting AFCON 2025. So I think it's also a disappointment as far as uh, football is concerned because if the if the match would have been played here in Nairobi, Kenya, uh, I think the Kenyan fans will have turned up in large numbers to support Harambe Stars the way uh, the Cameroon fans has done today. And that will have, you know, at least give uh, the fans, more, uh, the players, some morale. You always know the the importance of the 12th man in, in, in football. So I think uh, moving forward, Kenya still, uh, it, it's not uh, it's not all lost. We still have a chance. We'll go yeah. uh, fight for a draw. And, you know, pray to God and hope by the time uh, the, 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 the games end, we'll be in a position to qualify for AFCON 2025. Mm. Every time... You pray to God and but but with, but without but <laughs> without but <laughs> but but yeah. but without that goalkeeper Patrick Matasi because if you have Matasi on goal then <laughs> no no he's, he's, he's not he's not going anyway be there. don't worry about that he, clearly he's your number one goalkeeper but anyway that was that was it. I guess we look forward to the next game guys and then yeah, we'll but, see. but 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 I think Abdi when you look at the next game on Monday. We have the next game on Monday. It's home, but not home because it's a closed door game. Yeah. 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 When you look at when you look at the the standings of the table, is that uh, Cameroon are leading with the uh, seven points, Zimbabwe are following with five points, Kenya four, and Namibia yeah, three games to play. So yes, and Namibia and Namibia the sponsor of the group because it's sponsored three points to every team that has played <laughs> against them. So I, I can say that. What what <laughs> what what Kenya needs? <laughs> okay. What Kenya? What Kenya needs? It's a, it's it's Group J sponsored by Namibia anyway. Yeah. So what what Kenya needs from uh, from uh, the upcoming mm-hmm. game at least get a draw from uh, Cameroon. A, a draw and actually let me just say four points because uh, we we just need to be above 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 Zimbabwe. Okay, just be below Cameroon. Yes, yeah, we know we cannot match up the Cameroon uh, the Cameroon uh, 
standards. But who says that we cannot beat them? Because we can beat them. You need to get draw. I think you need to get draw against Cameroon in the next game, and then you have a chance. Because I think yeah, that's the draw against Cameroon. Then we can get a win and, and a draw the other two games. But the Cameroon game is the decisive yeah. one. And yeah. and I think Abdi, Abdi, let's not say uh, Kenya. When you go there, we should be focused. Kenya should be focusing on getting a single point. I think even when you look into today's match, Cameroon were not that good. Honestly, the kind of goals they they we they ah, yeah. consider as, like, as Kenya were cheap were cheap goals were, were, were a lot of mistakes. So I think if the coach can go back to the drawing board and get his team selection right, and these boys plays out their heart the way our mother and Dallas usually do, I think we can mm. beat Cameroon. This team is not that good as much as uh, you know they have the star players. They have a goalkeeper who has just won. Uh, uh, the goalkeeper got save of the month and he has the most clean sheets. So I think uh, Cameroon are a beatable side as much as Kenya is still, you know, trying to come up as far as yeah, yeah. football is concerned. All right. All right, then, guys. Cameroon 4 1 against Kenya. That was a big, big, big win for them. Mm-hmm. Bad loss for Kenya. But, you know, you, you live to play another day. So, guys, Wanga, Steve, again, thank you. We'll reconvene on Monday and see how they do then. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.